morning. I'm Jimmy Avery. I'm an Extension Aquaculture Specialist with Mississippi State University. Uh, I have uh, been Extension uh, Specialist in two different states and has represented a kind of an experience of somewhere between six or eight different species uh, throughout Louisiana and Mississippi. Uh, so I've had 37 years working with farmers, uh, everything from turtles and alligators to, to catfish, bait fish, uh, a lot of different species in those two states. One thing that's been um, consistent when you look at those farmers uh, across the years and across the states is, that, as Jim pointed out, they're all small family farms, at least the ones that I've been working with. Uh, they have an extreme economic impact in the areas in which these farms occur. You look at the Mississippi Delta, you look at southeastern Louisiana, they are economic drivers within those counties or parishes. And they're also, since all these are family farms, and typically they're third or fourth generation farms in most cases, they have learned to be good stewards of that land that they have been entrusted with. And so it's very uh, uh, forefront in their plans to make sure that that land is, continues to be available uh, to that next generation. Uh, so to get their point across, uh, it was the uh, organizing committee's uh, thought process to give you essentially five different uh, looks at small family farms across the U.S. The first one we're going to start off with uh, will be the cat catfish. Thank you. I'm Chris Maglon, a catfish farmer in Morgan City, Mississippi. I have two kids. Uh, Reese is my son. He'll be 11. Anna Rivers is my daughter. She'll be 10 this year and my wife is Missy. This industry is great for a family. Uh, from my wife to my kids, I mean we're all involved. We have we don't have any employees, you know, we do everything here ourselves. You know, my wife feeds, I maintain, check auction. Here on our farm, you know, we really stress our water quality and make sure that our water is filtered naturally through a raceway system. We have a 26 inch auger that pumps about 10,000 gallons per minute. You know, we have a wastewater sale that's normally about 80% of the pond. And then we have a holding area that holds this 20% that actually holds the fish and we're naturally just circulating water, you know, this, this actually filtering the water in the pond naturally. We're currently in Fonsdale, Alabama, very small rural area, a lot of farming activities in this area and particularly catfish. The more efficient an animal is in converting grain or, or feed products into protein, the better it is for the environment, the better it is for all of us. It's less land taken up by farming that could be used for other things. Uh, for instance, catfish mainly eat corn soybean meal, and at a two to one feed conversion, you know, that's far better than almost anything else you can make. I can't think of another product that has a feed conversion that we do, uh, turning grain into meat as efficiently as catfish does. All that's a sense of pride that I, I see when I see somebody eating catfish. You know, obviously we hope it comes from our farms because we know that it is the best product there is. My name is John. My family and me are catfish farmers in West Alabama. My name's Carl Herring, president of the Herring Catfish, and we're located in Wisner, Louisiana. Well, we employ about 175 people in the whole operation. There's about 130 in the processing plant. And then we have our own trucking company, which we have about a dozen truck drivers, and have a feed mill. We manufacture our own feed. And so it has a pretty good impact because all the, all the uh, goods that we buy, we try to buy as locally as we can from Northeast Louisiana. Our boxes, all the supplies, our bags, everything we can. So it has an impact. Of course, the salaries we have has an impact on it on the town. It's keeping the little town going, I think, and it, it keeps a lot of people employed and keeps some children at home instead of trying to leave. Farm-raised catfish is special because it's safer. You know, it's raised in a controlled environment and it's sustainable. You know, we know what the diet is. They fed a high-protein diet, feed. All the fish that come here that we bring in are live, so are live when they're processed. So uh, I think it's just a sustainable and a safer product. Really, there's not a day that goes by that I don't feel good about what I do. 
My name is George Smelly. We're in Greensboro, Alabama. I'm a catfish and cattle farmer. I think catfish is as safe a product as could possibly be. We have, uh, we've had FDA, we've had HACCP, we've had, uh, of course, our, our state and, and local inspections for, for years. But USDA provided us with a, a stamp of approval that uh, Americans have become familiar with and feel comfortable with with other commodities like beef and pork and chicken and why not catfish It's raised and processed here. And I, I think for the consumers it's peace of mind, it's for the, for the mother's grocery shop and it's just a good peace of mind that they're USA inspected and we're, do, we're doing a wonderful job keeping it good and clean.